Hi everybody, welcome back to our classic home and today we're talking about painting countertops. Now I do have some experience. It was trial and error throughout the years. It's been three years since the first time I painted a counter and I painted counters in two homes already um, with three different paints. Now the first paint that I used was the Rust-Oleum countertop paint. I'm going to tell you a little bit about that. I got that paint because it said quote unquote countertop. So I did prep as the can suggested, um, which it did not suggest a primer. A lot of people said, why didn't you use primer? I got a lot of questions about that. Um, so it didn't suggest any primer and it did not suggest any sanding either. So I went ahead, I did give it a light sand and I painted the countertops. Now the can of the Rust-Oleum countertop paint said white, but when it goes on, I don't know if it was my can, but I did buy two and they both look light gray, a very, very light gray. So just keep that in mind. My personal cans that I bought, they look light gray. Now, after a while, we, I followed all the instructions on the back of this can. We painted the kitchen counters. We let it dry as instructed. We put absolutely nothing on the counter. Actually, I think it suggested only like two or three days, something like that. And we just didn't put anything for a week, just in case. We had fans going, windows open. Uh, very, very stinky. That is for sure. So after doing that, um, we, you know, started going and just using our kitchen the way anybody else does. Nothing crazy. Well, pretty soon any place that would have a little bit of water, it would immediately start peeling, marking up. Um, after it already had water on it for a little bit, I try to dry up as much as possible, but you know, you always live, um, just regular life. I mean, if you put something like a wet cup somewhere and you just forget it and then come back. And then after a while, if it was on the edge, especially it would just start to kind of peel off. And then you started having little nicks here and there. So obviously this wasn't the best for, um, our lifestyle, I guess. So after that, I saw many suggestions for appliance paint, Rust-Oleum appliance paint for countertop use. It is not made for countertop use, but everybody swore by it. And I said, I'll give it a try since, you know, it can't get any worse than this, right? So anyways, we went and bought a few cans of that. We did sand a little bit. We cleaned the countertops very well. And right on top of the other paint, we painted with Rust-Oleum appliance paint. Right away, we could tell that this was the most durable paint that we have ever used. And for countertops, it became sort of a shell on the countertop. It became another countertop on top of a countertop, basically in liquid form. And it just hardened so nicely, um, as a hard shell, like I said before, and that was the best one that we had used in that house. Well, um, after a while, and that was actually a temporary solution until we can afford countertops. We wanted to save up for them. So it was just something for more for cleanliness because the original countertops were absolutely disgusting. It was the layer, the second layer from the countertop was already coming through. It was terrible. So that's why painting was, was one thing that we wanted to do. It's not a permanent thing. It was just a temporary thing. I got a lot, a lot of comments about that too. Anyways, um, after using that for a while, we actually decided to sell the house. And the people that have come and see the house actually like the countertops. So we saw no reason to change them right away. We sold the house within 24 hours. So obviously the countertops were not a deterrent for a sale. So we sold the house and we moved into another house. Now this house had orange 
countertops. So once again, I decided to go and try something different since a lot of people said, no, you should prep more, you should sand, you should prime, you should use a different paint. Um, some people said top side paint, which is boat paint. So it's all right, Let, let's do things the right way. So I decided to sand very well. Then after that, we um, did the bin primer shellac for the countertops. We did that, let it dry. Everything is following instructions on the can. So we did that. We waited several days. Then we put one coat of the top side countertop paint, not countertop paint, top side boat paint by Rustoleum again and look great. Second coat went on and that was great as well. But the problem with that was it actually started peeling in certain areas, especially around the sink. So around the sink, it started peeling. I moved the fryer, um, the air fryer, just a little bit to the left and it made a scratch. Um, I had a rice cooker and I picked the rice cooker up and there was a little spot that broke through there. So my in, in my experience, using these three types of paint, obviously the appliance paint was the one, the winner. Uh, of, of all of all three that I have used and this has been a three-year um, review um, I know for sure the appliance paint lasted the best the other ones were chip scratch stain quite a lot if the appliance paint would have some kind of uh, stain on it I would just go and get a little bit of bleach and put it on there and it was gone in seconds. And there was nothing, there was no, you know, a spot there left from the bleach or anything. It just looked great. And that appliance paint, when they say white, it's white. The top side paint was also white. So I, I can say that, that it is white. But now I'm having to go back and fill in these little spots. I'm not really sure if I'll do it with the appliance paint or not, but um, I'm not really sure if it'll match. So that has been my problem here in this house. Of course, this is just a temporary thing. I'm gonna be swapping these out, but I have quite a lot counters in this house. So I'm kind of debating the price on that. So meanwhile, at least it looks white and, and clean for now, and I'll probably just spot uh, paint those little areas. So I just wanted to put this information out there. I've made videos on different kinds of paints for countertops and I just wanted for everyone to know out of the three that I have used, which one worked the best. And so the Rust-Oleum uh, appliance paint in whatever color you choose would be what I would choose next time if there is a next time. So anyways, I hope this is very helpful for you. Um, please let me know if you have any other questions below and let me know if you have any suggestions on what videos you like to see. I would love to hear from you. All right, everybody, take care and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.